Hey guys and happy New Year's Eve! So it's the 31st of December. We are in a somewhat chaotic um, situation because we are in full on packing mode. Today has just been loads of packing. I know that's a really, really boring thing to do on New Year's Eve, but this is the last weekend we've got and we are moving this coming Thursday, no Friday, Friday we are moving. So we had to, had to basically take this weekend to do packing even though it is New Year's Eve. But now we are chilling out, we finished packing for the day and we're just having a little drink and then we're gonna have some food. We're watching some TV, just Big Bang Theory and various different things. Then we might watch a movie and then obviously we'll watch the um, fireworks over the Thames and stuff at midnight and we got ourselves some champagne, mm -hmm. fancy. Um, so that is our New Year's Eve. Very boring, just staying in, but we don't really do much for New Year's Eve generally. I'm not a big New Year's Eve person. I have been in the past, um, had kind of nights out and stuff, but I just find it just too busy and crazy to be enjoyable. And now I'm just old. So say we're just too old. For we're it. just too old. Too old. Box sets, booze, Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> Living the dream. That's New Year's Eve. Hey guys, so it's a bit later now, it's 20 past 11 and if I look kind of sleepy it's because I've been asleep for the last, how long? An hour, at least. Hour. <laughs> um, the reason I'm not that bad that I can't even stay awake till midnight, um, I have upped the dosage on my tablets and it is making me sleepy. The last two days I have been like this, just falling asleep so bad. Um, it's awful, so that's why I'm falling asleep. Um, but I've woken back up to obviously be awake to see in the new year and drink my champagne. Probably if I drink champagne, I'll be asleep in like two seconds. But anyway. Hey. Hey. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, Ian's got a bit of a talent for this, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> we had spilled Bucks Fizz on. Um, that was different. That Christmas was me day. Being really stupid. This was just enthusiastic champagne. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy 2018! It is the 1st of November. No, it's not. It's the 1st of January 2018. That wasn't even close. Clearly, I, I know. This is, well, as you can see behind me, it's a bit chaotic. We are trying to cook dinner and pack at the same time to multitask because we've only got a few days to pack all of our stuff. So, the to be honest, Christmas and New Year has been all very chaotic and unfest uh, unfestive, other than the time we spent with our families, which was great. Um, but here, it's just been... Unfestive. We didn't have a Christmas tree because we were just going away. So anyway, um, this is the beginning of the year for us. We're going to drink some champagne in a minute, even though we don't really need to. But we didn't finish it last night and I fell asleep. So <laughs> that's basically our day. I've been doing laundry, I've been editing, and now we are packing up the kitchen as we're waiting for our dinner to cook. So rock and roll. I hate moving so much, I just can't even... It always... Like, Every Ugh. time we tell people, because we move quite a lot. We move all the time. And every time we tell people, they're like, oh my God, isn't that so stressful? And every time I'm like, no, it's fine, we do it all the time. And then when it actually comes to doing it, we're like, damn, this yeah, is this really bad. Yeah, this sucks <laughs> so bad. But anyway, we are dealing with it. Hey guys, so it is the 6th of January. As you can see, there are boxes behind me. We are now in our new flat. Um, it has been a crazy couple of days moving. We are absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I need to take a shower. My hair is a mess. Um, I just feel completely like, oh. Um, but we are in. There are boxes everywhere. We do need to sort that out and get everything straightened out because it's a total mess. I will do a tour of the apartment to show you once everything is packed away. Um, but at the moment, there's like boxes and bags and goodness knows what all over the place. But it's not too bad. We're in, thank goodness, all of the major hard work is done. And Ian has just gone to get some takeout because cooking is just not really possible because we don't even have all of the stuff in the kitchen and everything. So yeah, it's a bit chaotic, but it's really, really been good. Um, I didn't film much of the actual moving and toing and froing with boxes and stuff because Ian had to do that with our friend because I can't lift. Um, I definitely can't lift heavy furniture and stuff like that. So um, I was at home kind of cleaning um, up where we were moving out of while Ian was doing that. We really, really love this flat. Um, it's really great. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. And oh, I can hear the front door. That will be Ian emerging there right now. There he is. 
um, hopefully comes bearing food. Yes, he does. So let's get into that. So we bought these hangers yesterday and on the top it says, great for clothes. What else would you be doing with them? Hey guys, and happy Monday the 8th of January. So I've had a bit of a sleepy start this morning. Um, I had to be up super early because we were getting the washer dryer delivered and they just tell you it's from between seven and like 3 p.m. or something. So I didn't know what time it was gonna be. Had to wake up super early. Um, Ian had to get up really early as well because he is going into the office today and it's now further for him to go um, a little bit. So he had to be up super early. So I am very like sleepy, <laughs> not really making sense. I'm drinking coffee. Um, did my makeup in semi-darkness this morning because yeah it was just it was too early it was entirely too early and it turned out they delivered the washer dryer at like 20 past eight so that was fine and they were really quick it's all done and dusted so now i'm just trying to get some work done and i'm really really struggling with pain today which is kind of a bummer i think it's because of all the moving where i've been like bending to like unpack boxes and stuff i have tried to not do any heavy lifting and stuff because i just can't do that but still i think that's why i'm feeling very very stiff and painful so that's kind of a bit of a nightmare um and sitting in like an office chair can be difficult with that so i've got my like back support cushion and stuff and i'm just trying to get on with it because at the end of the day i do have to live with this so you just kind of have to make it work and get on with it but yeah that's um not really helping but anyway i am doing really boring life admin stuff um first thing like trying to get registered with a new gp surgery which is a real bummer because i liked the one we were at before um but obviously we've moved so we need to register with a new one so i've been doing that and then i just need to um like when we get our groceries delivered because this is a new building they don't recognize it on the um online grocery ordering thing so i need to phone so i need to do that in a minute and call them so i'm just trying to get that out of the way and then i can get on with some editing and then there's still some unpacking to do like i said i will be doing an apartment tour but we still have some boxes and stuff um going on back here so i won't do it until it looks nice and tidy and then i can show you guys what everything looks like but yeah that's what's going on this morning and later today we need to go to ikea which is about an hour's drive away from here but ian's office is kind of halfway between here and ikea so i'm going to get the train halfway up to meet him and then he will pick me up after he's done with work and then we'll go to ikea we can't really be bothered to do it today because we've done so much moving and stuff but we really need to get my office chair the one i'm sat in today is ian's which is also why it's not very comfortable so we need to get me a new one and we also need a few other things for the flat as well so we're going to go and do that probably just grab some dinner out somewhere because otherwise we won't have time and yes it's all go it is all go in the last few days i don't know if you guys find this but when you move you feel so out of routine just because you're somewhere different obviously we love this place but it's not what we're used to so you're just kind of finding your bearings and it just feels weird being in a new place and on top of that you're kind of unpacking and everything else and like you don't have any food in the house so we keep eating takeout and stuff so it's all just very weird and it just feels strange and you feel out of routine and then it's hard to get anything done um let me know if you feel like that i know i definitely do whenever we move and we tend to move around quite a lot as you know so yeah we just want to get ourselves into a good routine and then we'll be fine but at the moment it feels like everything is kind of up in the air but anyway i need to get back to this coffee and get some work done lighting is bad i'm just doing i don't know if anyone else has this but when you move into a new house or flat or whatever um you get really crazy about checking everything before you leave so i'm checking like radiators and that things are locked and switched off because i'm not used to it so does anyone else do that when they've moved into a new place you just can't seem to leave until you've checked absolutely everything so i need to do that quick otherwise i am going to be late hey guys so i haven't seen you since the flat because i went to the train station i was going to vlog and stuff on the way there and there were 
there was a really crazy guy on the platform and it felt really weird to bring the camera out he was just like shouting and being really bizarre and everybody was just like what is happening then i got on the train and there was a couple next to me who were having like arguments the entire way there they would like have a row and then be fine again and then have another one and they were only going from like the stop i was getting on to the next one which was 10 minutes and they had three separate arguments so it was really weird and not really a vlogging situation but we are now at ikea and we're just about to go in to get the last of the things that we need for the flat and hopefully it won't take very long it doesn't look very busy in the car park and ian obviously has been in the office today so he's not really into the idea of crazy busy ikea no <laughs> <laughs> it's fine i'm better with ikea than i used to be you are yeah to be fair you are and we're gonna go get some dinner afterwards so yeah, yeah. So bribery works yeah, exactly i'd like to say we did this but we didn't This section where you have to like find the flat pack stuff. We're looking for a what was it? A bissa. A bissa. There's a mostrop. Mostrop. A mostrop. Bissa. So this is our shoe rack. There are lots of reasons to become a Nike family. Okay, this is not good. This um, office chair, this is the bottom part. You have to buy the bottom and the top. This is the entire reason we came all the way to IKEA. And there are none here, so Ian's just asking. This is not good, not good. Oh my, I'm so mad. Yeah. That's so annoying. Yeah, we'll have to come back. But that's the one thing, like I don't have anything to sit on, To like I sat on your chair today. Oh. I'm just gonna have to sit on the sofa temporarily, I guess. Why? The I'm clutching at straws now just seeing if anyone's set a white one down in the black box but they haven't because they have this chair in black but I want it in white dang it so as you will have just seen they didn't have the chair the entire reason we came here was to get my desk chair and they didn't have it they had like the top part the only bit they didn't have was the legs they had it in black but obviously you can't put a white chair on top of black legs I'm really trying not to be annoyed because I know in the scheme of things a chair is not a big deal but you know when you just feel so irritated <laughs> anyway we're gonna have to now order it online which we were gonna do in the first place and I think it was like a seven pound 95 delivery charge so we were like no we'll just come here instead and buy it and now we're gonna have to flip in order it anyway so that's not cool it's just not cool. It's also later than we thought it was going to be. What is it now? Like eight? Eight o'clock or something. Um, and we still haven't eaten. I'm starving. Ian's starving. So we are going to go eat. Holy cow. Yum, 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 yum. This is one meal, by the way. Yikes. Hope you're hungry. Pretty hungry. 